So now we're wheeling our bags around cars. We'll explain more in a second. <laughs> Some feedback that we got recently in our Q&A video was that we don't show enough the honest and the negative stuff of travel. So this is one of those not so great experiences. Today we are leaving Ubud. So sad. We've had such a good time here. We've just literally, just there, outside our room, ate breakfast this morning, had it delivered to us. We're sitting now with our feet in the pool. I mean, we're sad, but we're also really excited because we're heading to Changu, which we've only really passed through before, eh? Yeah, just on a, we're, we're coming up to Ubud. <laughs> That's right, yeah, last time, which was uh, quite a few years ago now. So the Changu spot is like our uh, cheaper, uh, Place to settle. cheaper long-term yeah. sort of spot, yeah. Um, but anyway, we'll show you more of that uh, later on in the day. For now, we're gonna, yeah, we gotta sadly get on the road. Get on the road. That's it. Sad to be leaving this place. So good. It's just crazy how big this room's been. That is what we miss the most. But we've got a pool in Changu where we're going as well. Obviously, just won't be, won't be as private. It's okay. All right. We're uh, we're struggling to find the place. <laughs> We're sitting in the car with our driver. I just had to run down, a, run down like a 300 meter like driveway to try and see if the place was at the end. In the end, we had to message our Airbnb host. So he will come here. He's gonna come out here. Yeah. Okay. Because I tell him I don't want uh, my car have a problem there. Down that drive. Yeah. Okay. So he's coming to pick us yeah. up. Okay, so I think we just we just wait and he comes up with his car and then we're gonna jump in. The um, addresses around in Bali are like... It's only 200 meter from, from oh, this... Oh, from that road? Yeah. Okay, thank you. This is the road our guy didn't want to drive on. We've seen cars coming in and out of here all day long. So now we're wheeling our bags around cars. We'll explain more in a second. <laughs> So that probably made absolutely no sense for you at all. <laughs> Basically, what, what has happened? So some feedback that we got recently in our Q&A video was that we don't show enough, um, or like that we could show a little bit more of the honest and the negative stuff of travel. So this is one of those not so great experiences. So we got just like a local taxi sort of negotiated price for so 250,000 to get um, back from Ubud to Changu and this is a place that we're going to be staying in for a good couple of weeks if not a little bit longer so it's like a shared villa um, shared facility but single room type scenario we'll do a different video on that because a lot of people have asked us to see what's like a low cost of living option in Changu and this is definitely one of those so this video is not about that this is more about Changu as a whole but anyway basically there's a street that's well known here as being like quite chaotic and cars can't really you can it's wide cars can easily go down it but often car is one way and cars sometimes come the other direction and they have to try and pass each other and it causes a massive traffic jam our driver just refused to go down so we were messaging with it on airbnb speaking to our host from the place here and then he came out on his scooter after about 20 minutes of sitting in the car and by this point our driver was not really happy with us at all um, but we're like, dude, you got to like take us to where we're paying you to take us to. Um, I mean, it was all amicable, but anyway, then our guy shows up and we thought he was coming in a car because we had luggage and then he, he shows up in the scooter and is like, oh. So basically, we, um, yeah, we were, had to wheel our bags in like 35 degree heat over like bumpy roads. Like our bags, are, the bottoms of them are like all scraped up and ruined. Um, sweating, dusty, cars driving around us. It was, it was fun. It's not the end of the world and I would never want to make the driver do something that he doesn't want to do but at the same time I was kind of thinking like well maybe we should meet halfway and there should be like a compromise but whatever it's done now we made it um, 
And so now we've come to a cafe just down the road from where we're staying and to cure my hanger. It's got a couple of chicken sandwiches and a couple of drinks and yeah, we're just gonna namaste for a second. <laughs> brum, brum. Brum, brum. We're definitely smiling now. We've got some freedom. We have just rented a scooter for the month. Yes, so woo, so heavy. It just gives us that like already we could tell. Like I think we mentioned uh, the cafe there, which sorry we did a really poor job of filming and showing that. It shows you how much like having a good mindset and like a, a good attitude needs to come across on camera, and we just weren't really feeling. We didn't it. have the fuel. Didn't have the fuel. Yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah. So this bad boy we've rented for for a month for was it seven hundred thousand? Yeah, I think so. Uh, seven, oh, maybe it was eight hundred. I think it was about seven fifty. Let's just say I can't quite. It only just happened. <laughs> I forgot already. I think it was seven fifty. Um, you can get them for cheaper, but we've rented it from the guys that run this place. So that if we have any problems, like you can understand, it'd just be yeah. so much easier to just like call them up and be like, "Yo, can help. you please send help? <laughs> send help? Yeah, send a taxi. We're, we're buggered." Um, yeah, so that's cool. So now we've got the freedom to roam around, and uh, the thing that we need to do tomorrow is like we need to get settled. We need to like do some groceries, we need to find a gym, we need to uh, find like cafes where we will like work from, like we need to establish all of these locals and just explore the area. The reason I say tomorrow is that we're not, we, 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 it's just too late now, we're, we're, the, day is, the day is mostly done. The day done. is done. Um, so yeah, so we'll do a, we'll film that tomorrow, so the next vlog that you see will be all about that. We both have helmets and we will be wearing them and we recommend if you come to Southeast Asia you do as well. Um, yeah, so we've just met. I mean, we've just met a whole bunch of people at our villa here as well, which we'll show in some videos coming up soon. But for now, uh, we're gonna, gonna yeah, we're gonna get some food. We're gonna go and get some chicken. That always makes us happy. So it's about uh, only about a five minute drive, eh? It's pretty close. It's not very far at all. So we've come to a place called Chicken Run. Which we um, were told about from a couple of the guys back at the um, back at the villa that we're staying at, and it's literally right next door to the supermarket. Which we're going to avoid temptation. We're not going to go in now, um, but that's probably most likely where we'll come tomorrow. We go and see how cheap this chicken is. Hopefully, it's good and 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 delicious. There's a party in there. Why are you filming me in my gigantic helmet? <laughs> Look how big it is. Everybody has to wear one. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm all about safety, but I mean, the fashion side of things isn't great. <laughs> and there's a nightclub in there or something. Yeah, it's so loud in there. For reference, this was 8,000. Nice. Oh yeah, that is the good stuff. I mean, I can't tell you it's good yet. I haven't, I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> it's like a charcoaly sort of like salty flavor with like heaps of um, like herbs and spice and stuff on the outside. It's Heavy. good. We made, we made a good choice. <laughs> uh, being back on the scooter, like absolute game changer. Game changer. Eh? So so good to get out and just explore and like clear your head and just drive and so excited about exploring more of this area tomorrow and. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Getting our bearings. Stuff Getting our bearings. Like it's always fun when you arrive somewhere new and you know you're going to be there for a long time and like you have this tendency you want to like go and see everything, but you sort of have to just like allow yourself time to like settle. And we need definitely need to do that in this place because it's shared facilities and stuff. It's going to take a little bit of time, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited about it. You feel the same? Yeah, me too. Yeah. Um, so this chicken was seventy-five thousand for a whole chicken. Normally. We would also show you the portion of potatoes and the portion of rice, but they were sold out. I think it must be that popular. Like it's, it's still, I think it's like 6.30. Yeah, so it doesn't, like, surely it's dinner time. Anyway, <laughs> at another stage we will try the potatoes, but for now we've just got a whole bunch of chicken and then they've got shared bananas here, which we'll probably just have some chicken and bananas for dinner. I'm happy with that. Keeping it basic. Keeping it basic. Um, yeah, this video I feel like has been, we like to keep the production value and everything all smooth and everything looks great and everything flows and our dialogue's all good. I just feel like this has been all over the show. It has been and like I'm just, I'm just back here trying to, trying to focus on your face, but going in and out. <laughs> going in and out. Okay.
<laughs> I'm just going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the comments. Bye. Bye. <laughs>